A wooden artifact from an ancient tomb contains 60% of the carbon-14 that is present in living trees. How long ago, to the nearest year, was the artifact made? And we're given the fact that the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. We'll solve this problem using the exponential function given here below, where p of t is the amount after time t, p sub zero is the starting amount, and k would be the exponential decay rate. To determine how long ago this artifact was made, we have to first find k, the exponential decay rate, and we can find k since we're given that the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. This means, for example, if we start with one gram of carbon-14, we could say that p sub zero equals one gram, then after 5,730 years, half of this would remain, meaning p of 5,730 would be equal to one half of a gram. We can use this information to find k and then answer the question. So with this information, this would give us the equation one half equals one times e raised to the power of k times t, or k times 5,730. So we have, our exponent is 5,730 k. So again, we're starting with one gram, and after 5,730 years, we have half a gram, because the half-life is 5,730 years. And now we'll solve this for k. We can just drop this one if we want, so we'd have one half equals e raised to the power of 5,730 k. And now we'll take the natural log of both sides of the equation. So we have natural log one half equals, here we'll apply the power property of logs. So we can take this exponent and write this as a product of the exponent and natural log e. So we'd have 5,730 k times natural log e, but natural log e equals one. So to solve for k, we'll divide both sides by 5,730 to determine the exponential decay rate. And now we'll go to the calculator. So we have natural log one half, or natural log 0 0.5, divided by 5,730, Notice E negative four here on the right, which means this is scientific notation. So to convert to a decimal, we have to move the decimal point to the left four times. So we'd have negative point zero 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 one two zero nine six eight. And sometimes you'll see a zero to the left of the decimal point as well here. Which means for carbon-14, the exponential decay model would be p of t equals p sub zero times e raised to the power of negative zero point zero 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 one two zero nine six eight times t. And now we can finally answer the question if 60% of carbon-14 is present, then how long ago was the artifact made? So in this case, we could say that if p sub zero equals one gram, then p of t would be equal to 60% as a decimal, 0 0.6 grams. Now that we have k, we can perform substitutions for p sub zero, p of t, and solve for t to the nearest year. Our equation would be 0 0.6 equals one times e raised to the power of negative 0 0.0001209.68 times t. Of course, we can drop this one. And that is all for t, we'll take the natural log of both sides of the equation. On the right side here, we'll apply the power property of logarithms and write this exponent as a product with natural log e. So we'll have natural log 
zero point six equals negative zero point zero 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 one two zero nine six eight t times natural log e. But again, natural log e is equal to one. So to solve for t, we'll divide by the coefficient of t on both sides. Notice on the right, this simplifies nicely to t, and therefore this quotient here will tell us how old the artifact is. So we have natural log point six divided by negative zero point zero 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 one two zero nine six eight. To the nearest year, we can say that the artifact is approximately 4,223 years old. I hope you found this helpful.